Hey guys, uh, a lot of you have been writing in to complain that I haven't been posting videos very often lately, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, it's just everything's been new, crazy with school and work and everything, and really this show takes a lot of time to do, um, and it takes a lot of money, and I have to test all the recipes and all that kind of stuff, and really I just don't have time. There's not enough hours in the day to... Hold on a moment. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. I can barely hear you. What? Are you coming home? Okay. All right, yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, where are we going? What restaurant will we be going to? They're coming... They're coming here? That's like an hour. I don't even have time to shower or get ready or anything. How am I going to cook dinner for four people in less than an hour? Oh, crap. Alright, uh, apparently I do have time. Let's go. Alright, apparently I have to be able to make dinner in less than an hour. And I don't have anything in the pantry. Or I have to go to the store and... Damn it! Where are my keys? I need my keys! Where are my damn car keys? God damn it! We're going to get started on the potatoes and the actual uh, meatloaf. So just a little bit of olive oil, good pinch of salt, pepper, a little bit of thyme, which is odd because I'm running out of thyme, some basil over here, I got two eggs. A good handful of breadcrumbs, just a very basic kind of deal here. Some tomato sauce, good pinch of salt, and pepper. All right, now you just dig in. While those are resting, we're going to get started on the sun-dried tomato pesto uh, that is going to spiral our meatloaf. Uh, get all that drained out. Just dump it into your food processor. About four cloves of garlic, which I know sounds like a lot of garlic, but since this is actually going to be cooked and not raw, you're going to want some extra and a good amount have some cashews, some good quality Parmesan cheese, and lastly some basil. Alright, kind of taste it, kind of see it's very pasty. This is kind of the texture that you're looking for. Oh, it's really good. That's good on crackers, on toast. You know, you can use it whatever you want it on. But it's going to be really good in our spiraled meatloaf. Now all these elements have to rest for at least 10 minutes. So I'm going to go kind of pick up around the house while these are getting set. This is a great way to turn a regular meatloaf into something kind of special, so it makes it look really, really pretty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump my meatloaf mixture onto my cellophane and just kind of 
press it out into a single layer. You can see it's all laid out. Uh, the next step is going to be um, your sun-dried tomato pesto. And be sure, since I have a lot of this pesto left, I don't want it to get contaminated. So I'm going to use two spoons. One spoon to spoon it out, and then the other spoon to smooth it down. This is the tricky part. So I'm going to roll, and then gently lift and roll. Lift and roll. And there we go. Now lift it onto a piece of foil that you have uh, sprayed down with cooking spray. I'm gonna close off these ends and wrap it up. I'm going to leave the ends exposed so that the fat can drip out. I'm going to put my meatloaf on my rack that is on top of my potatoes and the entire thing going into my oven that I have preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to leave it in there about 30 minutes and then I'm going to check it, see if it's all cooked up and if it's not, another 10 minutes and hopefully uh, everything will come together right on time. I got to go. Bye. Sure. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Thanks for having us. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, I'm glad you all enjoyed dinner. Dinner was great. And feel free to come back anytime. Just give me a little more warning first. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Well, that was great. Um, it just goes to show that a good meal is like a good man. It doesn't have to be expensive or time consuming. It just has to taste good and look good. Anyway, uh, try this recipe out for yourself. It's really, really good. And uh, be brave and uh, tune in again. Wonder, wonder, wonder.